all of those contacts will now appear in Podio along with the information you've mapped out previously. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode here on Batch TV. My name's Landry and I'm the community manager at Batch. And we're talking about a brand new update that you've all been waiting for where you can now push contacts from my list in Batch Leads over to Podio. So we're gonna jump right into this process. It's super easy to do. And let's just jump right into my Podio account to start. You're gonna go to your menu by clicking on the three lines in the top left-hand corner. And this is where you're gonna take note of your organization name. You're gonna need this later. And these are your workspaces. So wherever you want to push people over from Batch Leads into Podio, you're gonna to wanna to be able to pick out something maybe you either already have that's existing or create a new one. If you don't have something, you can click on create a new workspace, name it whatever you want. Let's just name this hot leads, keep it as a private workspace and click create. You can invite any team members or people you want to come into your Podio workspace, but I'm going to skip that. And then you can add an app. So you're going to need to do this, whether you're using a brand new workspace or you've been using Podio for a while and you have something existing like this is one I already have built out and you can see I have lots of apps in here but you're gonna click on add app and you need to create your own, a very custom app. So let's click on create your own and you're gonna name it. So let's just name this maybe warm leads, just for example. And we're gonna keep it as a standard app and then choose our icon here and then click create app. All you have to do is add a ton of text boxes here and you're going to outline the pieces of information that you want to eventually bring over from batch leads. Now, as you're setting this up, if you're kind of following along with me, you might want to wait until I show you all of the different fields so that you can kind of outline that as you go, because there's a ton of different fields of information that you can push over from batch leads. And of course you can come back into your Podio app and change things and modify it if you ever need to, but I'm going to keep it really basic for today's example. And I'll show you all of the fields available in batch leads eventually that you can actually come in here and create but what you're gonna do is just grab a ton of text boxes and keep adding them as you go and you're just gonna name them things like let's say the lead status we're gonna eventually push over from batch leads the first and last name the property address that we want to make sure that it's separated by the street city state and zip code so you're just gonna type all of that out same idea with like the mailing address the phone numbers the emails you can do all of that in here so we're gonna do city state and zip code so after we add all of our text boxes let's just add a few more and we can always change this but i want to keep it really nice and brief for today's guide let's just say that we also come in here and put in the the mailing address i'd probably take more time to go through and actually put all of the pieces like the mailing street address the mailing city state zip code etc and then for another text box maybe i'll add the phone numbers of the contact because i want to push those over if the phone numbers are on the national do not call list that data will also push over from batch leads so i'm just going to name this phone numbers dnc Let's add one for emails. So you kind of get the picture here. You're basically just adding a available slot to eventually push over the information, essentially. Email addresses, and maybe we'll add something like the agent's information, because you can add a whole bunch of stuff that, that I'll show you here in a moment. Let's just do the agent name and agent number, if applicable to you. So let's do agent number. And when you're done outlining all of the text boxes, you're going to click done to finish that up and if you ever need to make changes when you're in that app in podio there's a wrench icon if you see this tool button you can always go in there and modify your template you can also clone it because sometimes that can be time consuming to go in so if you ever need to make an additional app in here you can just copy it clone that app and make it something different for a different situation but take the time to go through this if you ever need to make changes just go to modify template so technically we have our app set up and it's ready to go. I'm going to actually be using a different app I have called Hot Leads. I'll show you more of these kind of filled out text boxes. I even have things like the second owner's first and last name, the year build, estimated equity, if I've pushed them to batch dialer or not, the list that they're on, etc. So let's use this app 
that I've created previously for today's integration. What you're gonna do after you've set up the kind of those first steps in Podio, you're gonna go over to Batch Leads and click on your initials in the top right hand corner, then go to My Profile, and then to Integrations on the left, and you're gonna go to the Podio Integration option and click Manage. Click on Add New, and it should first prompt you to log into your Podio account. So watch out for that pop up, authorize it, click OK, and then it will bring up this integration pop up. I'm already logged into it, so it's going to go ahead and bring up this information to start mapping out. My organization name is Batch. That was from my menu that I talked about earlier. There's your organization name. Your workspace, the workspace that I'm going to be using, it is called Hot Leads. So I'm going to grab that here. And the app I'm going to be using today is also called Hot Leads. The integration type you're going to choose from my list in your menu. And then all you're going to do is map out the fields. So we're going to match the Podio fields that I've previously created with the Batch Leads fields. So these are all of the pieces of information. If you're trying to decide what you need to add, if you're kind of going through and setting this up while watching this guide, there's a ton of different areas and things that you can map out, even if a property is vacant or not, or when you added it, if it's owner occupied or not, the bedrooms, bathrooms, all of the agent's information is down here as well, the ARV. So take your time. If there's something you want to push over from batch leads, just make sure that you have a slot available for it in your Podio app that you can go and modify if you need to. So we're gonna speed through this for the guide, but just to give you an idea, my lead status Podio field, I'm just gonna match with lead status and batch leads, the first name with first name, last with last, and so forth. So I finished mapping everything out, making sure that that looks good across the board, and then click save. And you technically can set up multiple integrations. So if you had different apps, like how I do in Podio, I have one for hot leads, for follow-ups, close deals, make offer. You could definitely go through that same process again for different apps and different kind of destinations if you wanted to, but really you just need one. So don't worry about it unless you have something very specific. You could just go through that same process for your different apps if needed. But now that that's done, all you have to do is go into my list and push over your information. So you can use your filters, use your lead status, to find the properties that you're wanting to push over into Podio. Use your quick filters, whatever you need to be able to push over into your account. Filter that out just by clicking on this drop down in the lead status section. I've been changing the lead statuses manually, so these are little icons that you can change on your properties and batch leads. So this is something you have to do yourself if you're wanting to leverage these. They're really great tools to help you kind of keep records organized, but I'm going to pull out all of my hot leads, select those 43, click export, and then go to export to Podio CRM and assign it to that app you've previously created. Click sync now and all of those contacts will now appear in Podio along with the information you've mapped out previously. So we're going to go over to my Podio account into that workspace in that app. So there's my hot leads app and all of those contacts will appear here. So I can click on the box for their contact and see all of that information that Batch Leads has now pushed over for me. I'm personally excited about this new update. Let us know in the comments if you are too, and I hope today's video was helpful. If you end up having any questions, you can always drop those below or reach out to our team. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button if you found today's video valuable. And remember to find the link in the description so you can join the community. Send me a message if you need more clarification or just take that opportunity to network and connect with other amazing people nationwide. We'll see you guys on the next episode.